So hey, Lori. <laughs> hey, Natasha. We're here again. I know. Happy September. I can't believe it's September. Oh my gosh. Summer went by that? too fast. I'm not well, ready for winter. Ugh. Oh, me neither. But I did get going on my Organize It project. So oh, our wow. last challenge was Organize It to yep. a project that organizes something in your life. Yes. So I cannot wait to see what you did. Well, my studio needs to be organized from top to bottom, but uh -huh. I took one little area in my studio. It's the top of this bookshelf that I just had all this mishmash of vases and cups and stuff with just junk thrown in them. And yeah. it's just, it's really a mess and untidy. So I decided to clean that area up a little bit. So I went to Goodwill and I bought a bunch of different vases that had all different like shapes and textures and heights and widths and everything. And then I attached and I, and then I bought a, a canvas Well, it was a wooden um, piece of art also from Goodwill, glued them on with E6000. And then um, I didn't do this on my project. I learned afterwards, but you're supposed to prime it with, rust-oleum primer first okay. uh -huh. before you spray paint it and I learned the hard way because I went right into spray painting and then like an hour or two later all a bunch of the paint was chipping off so oh, yeah. itself, you have to prime it first so prime it with uh, the rust-oleum uh, primer and then you can spray paint it so I spray painted it all this cream white color and I really like how um, I just like the variety of the shapes and the textures but i like how the color unified it all and yeah okay it's so a, looking at it wow let's clean that area up um all the colors of all of your utensils end up being featured because of the kind of solid color of all of yeah the i debated the on whether beautiful. i was gonna make you know me i love color so i debated oh. on whether i was gonna make it more colorful but then exactly what you just said i thought well if it's neutral, then the stuff that I put in it can be more colorful. And then I can even put like flowers in one of them or, yes. you know, whatever I want. So that turned out beautiful. And I think that it really does make you inspired to use that area of your studio again. It does. I look over there now and I'm like, oh, oh. it's so pretty. <laughs> and before it was just such a mess. So it'd be nice if it were right now, you should see at a tornado it looks like it went through and I still like all the areas everywhere else, except for that one little quiet area <laughs> that I did my organize it project. So now I'll have to go through the whole space. Yes. It'll, it'll be a whole one by one, step by step project. Exactly. Baby steps. So yes. I want to see what you made. Okay. So, um, I had a lot of fun with this one. Remember the project that I did last time I made a tiny little log cabin? Yes. I amazing. bought this product that's paper, but it's made of wood. So it's kind of like a veneer, but it's even thinner with a paper. Oh, board. cool. I noticed I used it for the log cabin, but I noticed on the packaging, it said printable. So it's oh. printable wood, wood that you could put through your printer. Ooh. Okay, so I just thought I have to do something with this. And the thing that I wanted to organize was all of my charging things. I work with electronics, but I never keep anything charged. And I literally will not be able to execute a project because I don't have a battery that has any <laughs> <laughs> Including my phone. Like my phone, I'll leave, um, you know, I'll, my phone will not be charged. My watch will not be charged. Actually, right now, you can see nothing's happening on my watch because <laughs> it's not charged. Uh, so, so, you took care of that. Yeah, so I took care of that. So, I'm going to bring you closer whoop, and show off my project, which is behind me. So, this is what I made. It's a little oh, charging wow. station. Whoop. That is so cool. So I printed, I made the little graphic and I printed it on the wood and then I, you know, just used the wood to cover a cardboard armature that uh -huh. has everything. And check this out. If I take my phone and I put it right here. That's awesome. Is that goes. Make there it goes. It has a charger in it. 
That is awesome. So now I also have like a place to put my stuff where I was kind of like you. I was just throwing and tr plugging things into any plug anywhere. Yeah. And then up here I have my Apple Watch charger. And my Apple Watch too, you know, I, I work with a lot of solvents and glues. So I constantly take my watch off in my studio. Right. I'll just like right. take it and lose it basically. Even yeah. if it's not lost, it's in my studio. So now I have a place to put my watch when uh, I take it off and it'll also charge it. You could sell these. That is so clever. One more thing. I have these like battery backups and yeah. I have just like plain batteries that I charge for my electronics. So I yeah. have a few little cables coming out here too, so I can plug them in and they can sit That's, in this little tray. That so, is awesome. Like my, my complete little, like if I need to charge something, go to my little spot and charge. That's <laughs> that's perfect. I think that's the best way to organize. If you have a place for each thing and it makes sense and you know where to put it back in that spot yes. or, or use it in that spot, I think that's great for organizing. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the whole point, right? Is like we just want exactly. that space to say, I know exactly where this goes and makes you feel exactly. like that. Yeah. Yeah. But you can um, sell that. I think it's awesome you know it's so funny i actually thought that it ended up looking more like something that you would find at like urban outfitters and yeah, I, it totally that, does. I just was like i don't know what it's gonna look like when i print on wood you know <laughs> i want to know about that wood paper the wood that you can that's cool yeah i'll, I'll put yeah. a link to it because it, it's yeah. really fun and you know i used it for the craft and i used it for the printing so oh i it's totally cool. want to know about that that's cool awesome. yay so this you know what Laura, we have a special guest this week. Yay! Yeah. Our, we have our first guest on Woo Keep On Making It. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, so we're putting out these challenges, and if you want to participate, we'd love to invite you to be a part of this and show off your project. So today we have Amy to show off her organization project. Amy, thank you so much for joining us. Amy, hi! Hey, Lori. Thanks, Natasha, so much for letting me come on your show. I'm a big fan. I've been watching every episode. So good. Um, so I'm just super excited to be here. And when you were talking about making like an organized way that I can organize things, I guess my head was kind of in a different way because I thought I'd really like to know how I could organize my cocktail hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Which that's is very important. fantastic. <laughs> yes, yes, very, very important. I need to know, you know, how I can make sure that my wine is close to my wine glasses. This is critical things, you know. Mm, exactly. How craft if I don't have wine that's organized next to my glasses. That's a great <laughs> COVID craft for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh man, there's a lot of those, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, cool. Here, I guess I'll show you guys. Let me... Oh, I can't wait. Yes. Here, I'm just going to bring this down real quick. Awesome. And make sure it's in the full frame. So this is what I made. Wow. Oh, I'm... that's really nice. I'm very into the whole geode stuff lately. Oh, um, it's so popular. And it looks so great, too. That's beautiful. And so this is, you know, obviously it goes on a, on a wine bottle and these get <laughs> held together. Um, and I'll take it off in a second. But yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. I really, I really liked the gold here. I'm going to take these off. And the fun thing is, is that wow. I got gold on Amazon. Okay. One of my Instagram friends, you know, she was making a lot of resin stuff. And so I was like, where did you get that? And I just thought this was the coolest thing. And now I have to make like a million of them because it's like the perfect present for people. Oh, exactly. So, like housewarming gift, just anyone who likes wine. <laughs> they're creating these Jeep silicone molds to look like it. Um, That's great. So I used crushed gold glass in the middle, which I think is what really makes it. Um, and then I actually, believe it or not, because I'm didn't. I, I new to resin crafting, so I didn't, I don't know too much about the dyes and all of that and then I saw somebody use paint and so I used different different shades of paint um and kind of just went around with the different shades of purple to give it that that effect um and then after it dried I took a gold paint pen and I outlined the side to give it more of that geode look 
I love like the that. sparkle of the gold. I love the sparkle. Yes. <laughs> love the sparkle. It makes like, I mean, having wine is a great experience to begin with. And now you're adding sparkles and organization. So this exactly. is amazing. Um, and that's really what it's all about is having that like one special place for the things that you need to do something. Um, and that would be a wonderful um, hostess gift too. Yeah, to yes. show up with something like that at a party or whatever. That would oh. be a great gift. It just makes well, it you are inspiring me to do some re more resin stuff. I yeah. know. I've only done resin once and I really loved it, but I, it's, it's messy a little bit and I, I, I want to do it again though. Resin's hard. Resin is really, really hard. It is not easy, no, but that, I love how, I love how it looks. It's really a great finish. Yeah. I, I, I just wanted to really, really do it, but I had a lot of botched projects before I was ever able to make something. And now that I have it down, it's so cool. But the air bubbles, that's... I know. The key, the key is the heat gun. You need the heat gun to get the bubbles out. Um, I did resin once with my friend. She taught me how to do it, and we did it in her um, garage. So I, I left the painting there overnight to dry and the garage door was open. So the next day there was a bug embedded in the <laughs> resin. It's like amber. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the bug landed on the flower. It was a floral painting. So I guess it's part of the painting. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, well, Amy, I think you did so, a video on, while you were making that, right? I did. So I got the that. video. It's on my YouTube channel, Paper Crane Wishes. You guys go over, check it out. Um, I got a lot of other different resin crafts. It's kind of been what my trend and like my phase. I go through phases and then I yeah. kind of like shut them off and go into something else. Um, but yeah, I also have like glitter tumblers that I've done with resin, all sorts of stuff. But cool. yeah, the video on how to make this exact is on um, my YouTube channel, along with the links for all of the materials that I use that you can purchase through Amazon. Awesome. Hey, do you, do you perchance, uh, do you follow Jane Loves Design on Instagram, Jane Monteith? I do know. You, sh you should check her out because she does a lot of really beautiful resin crafts. You would, you would love her work. Very cool. I will check that out for sure. Awesome, Amy. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your craft with Woo! us. Oh, um, and the link to all your info as well so everyone can follow you yeah Yay. thanks so much for having me girls i look forward to watching the future episodes and more guests that you have it's very exciting well thank you'll you have to come it. back yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right bye amy thanks so much bye amy thank you okay Lori. so the pressure's on okay it's time for okay. you to choose a new challenge i have one I all have right one. Ooh, I so, love so now that we can um get out a little bit wearing our masks um to stores or whatever mm -hmm. i i love uh shopping at goodwill or flea markets or antique malls or um any place like that so my challenge is to find a flea market goodwill find and upcycle it and transform it into something really fun and new and fresh awesome that sounds like a perfect challenge okay so this is the upcycle challenge exactly All right okay i'm so excited to go on a quest to get something yeah i'm actually supposed to go to an antique mall with my daughter today she's been at home with her two kids and going crazy and she said she needed an outing so we're hitting an antique mall today so i will be on the lookout awesome okay so we'll do that i will see you next month yes keep on making it and we will go out into the world and bring back some upcycled goodies and share Wonderful. Them. Uh, or next month so if you are watching this and you have an upcycled project or you want to make an upcycled project and join us on uh, this show next month, please let us know. Hashtag um, keep on making, on making find it. You, or direct message me on Instagram and we'll have you on the show. Yeah. We, would right, love, right. we love, love, love seeing what people do with the yes. challenges. So 
please be our guest. We'd love to see you. Awesome. All right. So Lori, I will see you next month and keep on All making right. it. Keep on making it. <laughs>